G'day guys, welcome back to the show. Today we're doing a how-to bass episode. I just want to help people if they don't know how to bass fish. I was once in your position and it's actually hard to get started with bass fishing because you know you don't really know where to go, brackish, fresh, salt. I'm at a section of a river that I've never fished before. So this is all new to me because I wanted to do a how-to and I wanted to show you guys that I'm not just going to a spot that I know there's bass there, we're gonna find them. So right here, is a perfect example of what you're looking for. You've got shaded areas, you've got deep holes, and you've got undercuts from the cliff. All together, with the deep holes, the undercuts, the shade, the snags, is just bass heaven. On a day like today, where there's not one cloud in the sky, it's gonna be a hard task to get bass to eat off the top, but for me, that's the only way I can bass fish. Where I'm fishing now is a creek that runs into an estuary that feeds out to the ocean from where I'm from. And this is just one of the creeks along a mountain where the rain pours into here and then goes out and eventually hits the estuary. You need that salt to brackish to fresh to actually find bass because supposedly they breed in brackish water. This water is as fresh as it gets. I could probably drink this and be totally fine and that's what I'm planning to do. So some of my go-to lures are all right here. They're mainly top water because that's what I love doing but that soft plastic frog with a weedless hook is probably my favourite. And then you've got the lizard, you've got all sorts of things, rats, ducks, even got a bird in there. And obviously you've got your cicadas, which are dynamite as well. I'm going to fish with a few different lures, but we'll start off with the frog, because that's my go-to. It's just my favourite. <laughs> it's top water, they hook up well, I just can't get enough of the frog. Anyway, let's start fishing and... Hopefully, we can teach you how to catch some bass. There's a bass right there, it's good as well. As if you followed that one out and didn't eat that frog just then. I don't know about this spot, looks decent. Very deep. It's gonna be hard to get one out of here. Oh, that's small butt. Yep. What the hell? It wasn't a big bite, but he poofed it. I don't know if he's hooked very well. Oh. <laughs> he was like swimming with the lure. Oh, he's good. He is good. He's as good as they get. Look at that. He's a cracker. He's a cracker. He's still going hard. Oh no. Oh look at, oh is it you? I thought it was the second one. He's a cracker. <laughs> He's as good as they get. Look how fat that dog is. Oh my god, he's actually not that long but he's just fat. He actually didn't buff that that hard. I thought I missed him but that is a cracker. How I'm going to measure him today is put this exactly right there. And then he is from the butt to the eye. First fish of the day, absolute cracker. How's that? Absolute cracker of a fish. Look at that. I don't get much better than that. Pretty undercut and pretty deep too. And real shady, obviously. Be a few bass in there, but I bet. Oh. I literally just said how shady and undercut it is and how deep it is. Had a couple casts there, then had one cast there and just got hit when I wasn't even looking. 
And I just was going to say how good it looks up ahead. There he is. Just thought I'd try a bit faster wind. Yep. Oh, that was a good hit. Couldn't resist it. It's a good bass for how skinny this bit is. The river. Oh, that's another crack, a second bass of the day. And he's a good one. That is just awesome for how skinny that is. You guys saw it. He whacked it too. Look at that weedless pin perfectly in the corner of the mouth. That's what they love doing. I hardly ever get one scoff it for how hard they hit it. It's usually just pins them in the corner of the mouth like that. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, he got me good. <laughs> Stopped him part. Ah, oh, you dog. <laughs> there he goes. Oh, he got me good. Ah. Ow. Damn, that, ah, oh, that hurts so much, bro. Holy shit. It's like stinging. Some sort of freshwater disease in me now or something. Ow. But anyway, <laughs> I wanted to show you guys on the other GoPro, but anyway, looks freaking awesome up here. That was just a bonus fish. Just put a tiny little diver on. We get a bit deeper and a bit better cast. Never really, oh, I don't think I've ever caught a bass on this lure. But it'll definitely get deeper. Well, I just broke my rod. And you probably noticed that this was a different rod. That's because I broke my Zodius. Holy moly. Oh God. Anyway guys, that is how to catch bass with an absolute dickhead of a fisherman. I wish I could show you more bass videos because I was sure I was going to get a couple more on the way back. But anyway, only two eats in today's episode, but it doesn't really matter how many you catch. Being out here, no reception, no worries. And yeah, just having fun walking the river. I'm gonna do the massive steam back to the car without wetting a line once. I'll put one more clip up from the other day before I broke my Zodius of a cracking bass off the top. Probably my best eat that I've ever had bass fishing. That was from a day that I only got one different river to this. It was the first time walking a different river actually. And only managed the one, didn't make an episode, so I'll put in this one. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Maybe just hit the like and leave a comment so I get a bit more money and can afford a new rod. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Hopefully you guys can get out there and catch some bass. You. Right, keep going. Oh my God. Holy shit. Oh, that is so sick how they come out of that dirty water. Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me!